Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na mayroon tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala, dahil kahit walang load, ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e 2 is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the e 2 will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn, together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Happy Itulay Monday afternoon, senior high school students who are watching right now and availing our free online tutorial para sa uh, General Chemistry 1. Ang topic natin this week, Tutor Abay, ay limiting and excess reactants as announced natin last week. So again, I am Tutor Ann from SD Las Piñas. And good afternoon, everyone. I am Tutor Abay from SDO Paranaque and we are welcoming you all again for another productive time in learning general chemistry one and syempre we're here kasama pa ng ibang mga subjects na and itulay tutors para matulungan namin kayo sa pagsagot ng inyong module so kindly share again the link that uh, we have so with the hashtag itulay level up hashtag itulay ang bayanihan para mas marami pa tayong makasama sa at maging mas masaya pa yung ating interaction so and also, you may revisit the Facebook page ng DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Tayo, and sa YouTube channel na rin ng DepEd Philippines, Dep DepEd EdTech Unit, and DepEd TV. Okay, Chutra Abay. So, okay, how so, do you keep your sanity? Okay, so this time, I I will be the one who will be giving the, ano, the positivity for today. So, how do you keep your sanity? So, Chutra Ann? Sabi rito... Peace, it does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. So dito, alam ko lahat tayo gusto ng peace. Everybody wishes for word peace. Alam ko medyo mahirap sa panahon natin ngayon due to pandemic and some political issues na nararanasan natin in different social media platforms. Pero sabi nga dito, we can still 
experience peace even though we have problems in life as long as we know how to be positive in in life and give respect sa peace ng ibang tao. So gano'n naman palagi, di ba, Tutor Anso? Kung ayaw yes. mong, uh, kung gusto mong ma-experience yung peace, ibigay mo rin yung peace sa ibang tao. And of course, yes. don't forget that God is always with us and siya talaga yung nagpapatatag sa atin. So simple ano lang siya, Tutor Anso. Yes, ang ganda naman ng sharing natin ngayon. So, uh, about having peace. So, we also have to respect, na bagit ni mo, Chutra Arbe, kanina, we have to uh, give respect to others who wants peace din. So, kung gusto mo nga rin naman ng peace, so learn how to give peace to other people. Ayan, thank you, Chutra Arbe, for that sharing. So, for this week po, the most essential learning competency that we're going to have But before that pala, Tutor Abe, basahin muna natin pala yung mga comment bago tayo magbasa ng milks. So basahin natin yung mga nasa, nasa ano na ngayon, nasa comments. Meron na sila, marami na mga nagko-comments dito, Tutor Ann. So, shout out na natin sila. So we have Glenny Ilaping watching here in Lapu Lapu City. Uh, Pa-shout out, Kapitan Rubilin Cabardo Pastrano. Kay Ken Joshua Haikti ng 11 STEM ko si Bing para niya National High School Main Alex Ison para niya ka National High School Main din so we have Ariel Espinas National High School Main Angelica G Gregorio So we have... may nagtatanong dito tutor Abe nakalagay dito STEM ba to tanong ko lang yes po uh, this is general chemistry one for STEM students so ayan po recognize natin uh -oh. si uh, si Randolph Basalio Galimba. Yes po, for uh, STEM students. So, Veronica, Gianna, Mark, uh, Christian, Randolph, Miguel, Constantine. So, marami from Paranaque and from Las Piñas. And from Lapu-Lapu City, watching here in Lapu-Lapu City, VAC Center, pa-shoutout po, Kaprobilin Cabardo, Pastrana. Okay, so meron na tayong malayo-layo, Chutra Bay, uh -oh. from Lapu-Lapu City. Hello po, Ma'am Glenny Laping. Okay, okay so po, so the most essential learning competen competency that we have for this week, we have explained the concept of limiting reagent in a chemical reaction, identify the excess reagents, And also, determine mass relationship in a chemical reaction. Kaya po tayo nag-lesson nung week 4 ng uh, stoichiometry, mole to mole, mole to mass, mass to mass. Na, yun po yung nilesson natin nung week 4. Kasi po, kinailangan natin sa percent yield at kakailanganin, kakailanganin din natin for us to learn about uh, identifying the limiting and excess reactant. So since ang ating milks ay, ang learning competency natin is identify the excess reactant. So, identify natin alin ang naglilimit ng reaction at alin yung na ang excess sa reaction. So, Chutor Abey? Yes, uh, Chutor. And let us try to define first the limiting reactant and excess reactant. So, when we talk about limiting reactant, so tulad nga ng sinabi natin, in a given chemical uh, equation kasi, we have to identify first the, limit, the reactants and the products. Kasi uh, ngayon yung topic natin, mamimili lang tayo sa reactants na nandun sa equation. So, Uh, we have to choose ano ba yung naglimit sa production ng ating reaction, ano ba yung sumobra. So when we talk about limiting reactant, it, it is actually the reactant that is completely used in a reaction. While when we talk about uh, excess reactant, it's all about, uh, com uh, it is actually not completely consumed in the reaction. So ibig sabihin may natira, may sobra. So ibig sabihin, pwede pa sana mag-undergo ng reaction kaya lang nag-stop na kasi nga doon sa ating limiting reactant. Kasi siya yung nagde-determine ng amount ng product na mapoproduce natin. Okay? So siguro mas mabibigyan natin to ng ano ng uh, clarification when we talk about some application, no? So let's try to yes. have that to end. So let's say for example, chutis, no? Uh, uh, Let's try to imagine this situation. So in a dance party, when a slow song is played, the students normally form pairs to dance. So uh, imagine niyo na nasa isang uh, uh, gathering kayo, tapos nagpatugtog ng uh, mabagal na, na, na sayaw, we're in, you will be looking for a partner no, para magsayaw kayo yung dalawa. Para dito yung mga cuties natin, nasa age na silang ganyan. Kasi wala bawal party pa sa ngayon. Oo, oh, oh, wala silang JS ngayon. So pa-imagine na lang natin sa kanila to. So, <laughs> ang bad ba? So, <laughs> Let's say, for example, merong walong lalaki, eight boys and 15 girls. 
ngayon ang mangyayari, only eight girls lang ang magkakaroon ng kapartner doon sa ating uh, sinasabing sayaw. So, magkakaroon ng eight pairs. Ang problema, may matitirang babae, di ba? Merong hindi hindi ma hindi magkakaroon ng kapartner yung mga babae na yun. So yun yung sinasabi natin na makikita ka agad natin, ah, okay, so ano ba yung naglimit sa number ng uh, pair sa, sa dance na yun? So kulang kasi ng boys. So ibig sabihin, makikita natin doon na limiting reactant natin yung boys, may sobra sa girls, so sila yung magiging excess reactants natin. So para lang mas ma-visualize yun. Nirelate lang natin sa tao, kaya, kaya doon sa reactant sa chemistry, nirelate lang uh -oh. natin sa tao. Para lang ma-visualize ng ating mga students. Okay, so dito naman po sa ating sa aking example, which limits the production of cars. So kung meron tayong 8 car bodies and we have 48, ay, sorry. If we have 8 car bodies and 48 tires, we uh, we know very well that in that the ratio of car bodies and tires is 1 is to 4. Sa isang car body, merong four tires. So if that is the ratio, so yan ang ating balancing equation. Kaya importante na meron tayong balancing equation, meron tayong pinagbabasihan. Yan ang basihan natin, yan ang proportion natin. Kumbaga sa Starbucks naman, yan ang, I mean Starbucks or other coffee uh, stores, yan ang kanilang proportion. So kailangan nilang sundin yung proportion na yun. So eight car bodies, uh, 48 tires, uh, we have eight cars na malalagyan ng tires. And there will be an excess of 16, uh, 16 tires. Kasi po, sobra yung tires natin. And we know that the ratio is 1 is to 4. 1 car body, uh, 4 tires. Ang malalagyan lang ay 8 cars. Alin ang ating limiting dyan? So the one that limits the production are uh, the car bodies. Yung car bodies, yun yung naglilimit. Kasi walo lang yung car bodies na meron tayo. Meron pa sanang tires, pero... Uh, kulang na sa car bodies. So yung nagmamanufacture nito, kailangan nang mag-order ng car bodies para magamit pa yung 16 tires na excess. So yan ay pinadaling example lang ng limiting and excess reactant. But syempre, we really have to put this in a chemical reaction. So ito lang ay para lang madali nyo ma-visualize pero babalik talaga tayo sa chemical reaction. So here are the steps in determining limiting and excess reactant. Number one, Check whether the equation is balanced. So katulad dun sa car, sa uh, uh, pag-produce pag ng car, 1 is to 4. So kailangan sa chemistry naman, kailangan tama ang inyong equation. Kailangan balance. Eh. Okay? Number 2, convert the known masses of substances to moles. So kaya po tayo nag-aral nung week 4 ng mass to mass conversion. Mass to mole and mole to mole. And step three, determine the limiting reactant using the mass relationship. Again, determine the limiting reactant using the mass relationship. So ipapakita natin ano yung nag-stop, ano yung maglilimit. So uh, at this point, medyo i-analyze natin alin yung uh, mag-stop ng reaction. Okay. Number one, um... Chuter Abey. Okay. Chuter Ann, before tayo pong sumabak sa problema, no? shout out muna natin ulit ng mga students na nandirito kasi medyo marami na yung nagigrit sa atin. So we have Veronica Ann B. Spiritu from Paranaque National High School, Maine. Diana May Thompson from uh, PNHS, Maine din. Mark Benjo Hamito, Christian Hulip, Las Piñas to, Chuter Ann. Randolph Basalio Galimba. Ayun, yung kanina nagtatanong ng STEM ba to. Okay, so we have Miguel Calvo, Tanyola de Ford, Las Piñas National High School, Constantine del Rosario from Paranaque National High School, Maine, Nathaniel Generaldo, Cristel, Evangelista Karen, Fermano Lastra, Fe Pancho from, uh, what's the, Lucien Elementary School, Tanjay, Tanjay, Tanay City Division, gano'n ko. Okay. Okay, so hi, Fe Pancho, Warren Marasigan, Catherine May, Zapanta, Simon Matthew, Mark G. and Daniel, John Rexter, and Iverson, Hilatan. Ayan. So stay put lang kayo dyan. Tuturuan namin kayo. Gagawin namin yung best namin para mas mapadali yung topic na limiting and excess reactant. Kasi tutorial. We have three problems to solve. Oh, yes. oh. Share ko lang sa'yo, kapag narinig kasi nila yung limiting and excess reactants, parang nalulula na agad sila, no? Hindi nila, ini, I mean, hindi nila naiisip na yung ginawa natin last week o yung mga tinuro natin sa kanila na bowl concepts, yun, din pa, yun pa rin naman yun. Yun so, pa rin na natin. Oh, nandito kami ni Tutor Ann for you. 
So oh, okay. let's start with this problem. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with this problem. So nitrogen gas can be prepared by passing gaseous ammonia over solid copper to oxide at high temperature. The other products of the reaction are solid copper and water vapor. A sample containing 18.1 grams of NH3 or ammonia is reacted with 90.4 grams of copper 2 oxide or the CuO. Find out which of the two is the limiting reactant. How much of nitrogen gas is formed? So, ibig sabihin dito, chutis, kailangan muna nating malaman ano ba yung reactant side and product side para hindi tayo ma-confuse kung saan tayo mamimili ng answer natin. Kasi we have to uh, choose uh, doon sa equation natin kung ano yung maging limiting reactant and ang ating excess reactant. So focus tayo sa ating reactant side. We're in the reactant side is always present in the left side of the arrow, no? Yung nasa yes. kaliwa. So ang pagpipilian lang natin dyan is si NH3 at si CuO. Pero how are we going to do that? Ito na ngayon yung step natin. So the first thing that we have to do is to use the values in the given, yung mga amount or yung uh, grams na minention doon sa ating problem. So let's start tayo sa unang binanggit, which is 18.1 grams of ammonia. Ko convert lang natin siya sa mole. Notice dito sa balance equation natin, uh, may mga coefficient na siya, so it's already balanced. So, na-balance na natin siya. Kaya, mas madali na siya sa atin. So, diretso na tayo sa ating solution. So, 18.1 grams of ammonia, convert natin siya sa mole. Ganon din yung gagawin natin kay 90.4 grams of copper to oxide. Pero gagawin natin siya one at a time para hindi kayo ma-confuse. So, ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin sa ilalim palagi yung given. So, Rabe, hindi tayo ng help sa kanila. Okay, uh, tsaka, uh, tsaka para malaman natin kung naalala nila paano pagkuha ng molar mass. Kasi ang pagkuha nito ay kin kin kinukuha natin ng molar mass. So, habang nagsusulat kami dito ni Tutor Abe, kindly type in naman po sa comment section ano ang molar mass ni NH3 and also ano ang molar mass ni CuO kaya para indicate lang NH3 tapos anong molar mass niya then ni CuO ano yung molar mass niya okay kindly type in the comment section baka eh, mabilis naman yung mga students natin oo oh, okay. nga Yes, pwede naman, tutor Anne. So, wait tayo sa mga answers nila. Habang pinaprocess natin to, i-leave na lang muna natin yung uh, molar mass for their answers na rin. So, grams of ammonia sa ilalim, mole sa ibabaw. Ni ammonia pa rin, okay? Doon sa isang reactant natin, si CuO, ganun din. One mole of, of CuO sa taas, sa ibaba naman yung uh, grams of CuO. So we are asking you for the molar mass of the following substances. Hope you can help us. Ayan, may sagot na si Constantine del Rosario. Molar mass of NH3 is 17.03. Round off na lang natin siguro, Tutor Ann. So, so nagsagot can... si Constantine sa, at saka po si Edward Bagay. Edward so, Bagay, ang siya. Siya. Pala siya. siya sa YouTube. Ayan, yes. thank you so much. So, ayan, mabilis ang students natin. Helpful talaga sila, no? Si Ken, 17. Miguel, 17 din. Rowell, 17. I Iverson, Miguel, Rowell, Constantine, Edward. Thank you. Um, yung sa CUO po. Sige po. Pero na rin ako nakita ang CUO from Constantine din. According to him, it's 79.5. So, Chutra Bay, we'll round that off na lang, no? Oo. 80 na natin siya, no? Okay. So, ganun din kay Edward Bag Bagay, 79.5, molar mass of NH317 according to Arnold de la Cruz. Okay. Thank so, you I kasi alam ko, yung... ready kayo, nag may dala kayong calcu, kaya mabilis kayong mag-compute. Thank you, thank you sa pag-participate. Uh, okay. okay. What about the answers, Tutor Ann? So, next step, sabi dyan, Tutor Abay, convert the known masses of substances to moles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Answer? I-calculate na natin siya. So, 18.1 grams times 1 divided by 17 grams, it will give us... Okay, tingnan one... natin mabilis. Mabilis yung mga students natin. Ayun, may sabot oh, na si Edward. Talagang so, ano, hindi na pinakabayaan. 1.06 <laughs> mole, mole of NH3. Shout out, Edward Bagay. Thank you sa pag-compute. Uh, 1.06 mole ng NH3. Ayan. Okay. So, ganun din kay Diana May Chamson. So, 
Shutter and sa ano tayo? Copper 2 oxide naman. Ayun, meron na rin. Ang bilis ni Edward Bagay, you know. At si Ken Joshua ha 18. So, masagot din sila. According to Edward Bagay, 1.13, 1.3 mole of CuO. Okay. okay. So, ngayon, chutis, ganito yan. So, thank you for answering, no? Ganito ngayon yung gagawin natin. Hindi pa natin ito Magag, I mean, hindi pa tayo dito mamimili kung sino yung limiting and excess reactant. No? Nasa ano pa lang tayo, process pa lang tayo kung ano yung gagamitin natin para madala natin or magkaroon tayo ng comparison later on. Sa so, ginagawa namin ni Tutoran, pinipili namin yung mas maliit na value. No? Yun yung parang... Pwede naman din, no, shooter ano yung isa. Kaya lang kasi nas parang nasanay tayo, no? Mas madali siyang Saka tandaan. Parang, pwede gawin yung isa, pero para at least hindi natin gawin parehas, pupiliin mm -hmm. na lang yung mababa. Sige po. Oo. Ang maganda kasi dito, Chutis, isa lang. Isa lang naman yung pipiliin natin dyan. So, we decided to use 1.06 mole of ammonia. Dadali natin siya kay uh, grams ni copper to oxide para magkaroon tayo ng comparison. Mamaya makikita niyo siya. So let's start with 1.06 mole of ammonia. Then, we will just be having the calculations of that. Convert lang natin siya. So we have mole of ammonia sa ilalim. Then, we have uh, mole of the one that we are looking, which is the copper to oxide. So yun ngayon, yung sinasabi namin palagi ni Tutor An sa inyo, kapag mole sa taas at mole sa ibaba, we will be using the values in our equation. So gagamitin natin yung coefficient. So according to our balance equation there, we have 3 moles of copper 2 oxide and we have 2 moles of NH3 or ammonia. And then, ayan. So kukuhanin natin ngayon yung uh, grams ni copper to oxide, kaya siya yung nasa taas at sa ilalim si mole ni copper to oxide. Ayan. And then, meron na tayong kaninang uh, molar mass ni copper to oxide na bigay nyo na sa amin kanina. So we have 80 grams of copper to oxide sa taas. And ayun na yun. We will just be having the answers already there. So, ano kayang magiging sagot natin dyan? Okay. Um, Shooter Abay, habang nag-iisip sila, kinocompute nila yan. Babasahin ko lang po ang mga nasa comment section. Okay, sige, Mark Chuter. Benjo Hamito, nag-answer. Sila ito yung mga nag-answer. Edward Bagay, Mark Benjo Hamito, Micaela, Iverson Kilatan, um, Ken Joshua, Constantin Del Rosario, Stella, Stella Ed, Edaniel Hovero, Alex Ison, Aliana Chacon, Miguel Tanyola de Fort, Ken Joshua Jaktin, Angelica, Angelica Gregorio. Okay, so thank you sa inyong pagpa-participate. Meron ng mga nag-answer, Tutor Abey. Yes, Tutor Anna, ang sagot nila is 127.2 according to Constantine, Angelica, Edward, Gianna May, Alex, Aliana, Noelle, Roel. So, I think they Okay, cancel ko lang, Tutor Abey, yung okay. ating mga units para maging clear sa ating mga tutees na importante nagka-cancel kasi makikita natin yung matitirang unit. Sige po, Tutor Abey. Okay. So, Tutor Ann, kung mapapansin natin, yung sagot natin na 127.2 grams, pwede na natin siyang magamit para malaman natin kung sino ang ating limiting reactant. So, all we have to do is to compare yung given ni CUO na nandun sa problem, which is 90.4 grams. Ang ibig sabihin kasi nito ay, meron tayong 90.4 grams. Pero nung kinalculate natin siya, kailangan pala natin ng 127.2 grams para makumpleto yung reaction natin. Okay? Kay NH3. Ibig sabihin, NH3. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kung meron tayong 90.4 lang at ang kailangan natin ay 127.2, makikita natin na kulang ang ating copper to oxide. Siya ngayon yung ating magiging limiting reactant. Okay? Tutor Ann, pakiguhitan na lang, no? paki na lang natin yung 127.2 at yung 90.4 grams para makita nila. Yun yung pinag-compare natin. No? 90.4 grams ang meron tayo, yun yung minention sa problem, pero nung sinold natin, kakailanganin pala natin is 127.2, kaya naman kulang tayo. So, kumbaga, meron ma kumbaga hindi, ano, uh, mauubos kagad si CUO, hindi pa ubos si NH3. Oo. Kasi so, nga, excess natin si ammonia or si NH3. So, si e, ang ating excess reactant ay si ammonia, NH3. 
And our limiting reactant is CUO. Students, can you, you may screenshot this para meron din kayong copy kung paano, ano ba, na, ano ba yung mga steps na ginawa natin to do this. Okay, uh -oh. baka tanongin yung mga students natin, bakit ba tayo nag-compute nito? Okay? Kung dito naman pala ibabase kay 90.4. Dito po mm -hmm. ay mag, uh, nakatulong sa atin to decide alin yung smaller value doon tayo kukuha at itutuloy natin sa computation. Bali, nag -ay, nag -ay decide tayo to compute uh, the NH3 and malaman natin ilan ang CUO na kailangan niya para maubos siya. And with this information, nakatulong yun to help us identify which is our limiting and excess reactant. Okay. okay. Para hindi na tayo magsasolve ng... Kasi... Kung i-continue pa natin yung isa, ganun din, no? So, at least yes. isang step lang tayo, okay na, na-identify na, na natin yung limiting and excess reactant. Pero again, chutis, pwede nyo yun ituloy, pero para hindi mm -hmm. na nga kayo mahirapan. Uh, pero kung gusto nyo lang i-try, curious lang kayo, try nyo i-compute din yung 90.4, tapos tingnan nyo kung kulang ba siya sa 18.1 or sa so sobra. So, uh -oh. let us proceed with the next problem. Chutor the next three. problem. Okay, chutor and Okay. Next problem, we have 10 grams of water reacts with 4.5 grams of sodium to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas or H2. Identify the limiting and excess reactant. So we have this equation. Okay, so tusundan lang natin din yung steps na binanggit natin kanina. Check whether the equation is balanced. So na-check naman na natin na that equation is balanced. Number two, Convert the known masses of substances to moles. And number three, determine the limiting reactant using the mass relationship. Again, determine the limiting reactant using the mass relationship. Sorry. And move forward. Okay. So, I then, isusulat lang natin dito yung mga given natin. So, we have 10 grams of water. Baka sa pagsusulat ko ngayon, nagko-compute na mga students natin. Oh. Sure. And we have 4.5 grams of sodium. Sabi, check whether the equation is balanced. Na-check na natin. Number two, convert the known masses of substances to moles. So itong mga known masses na to, given sa problem, convert lang natin siya sa mole. So ito, the unit should be grams of H2O. And in here, we have grams of Na para makancel. In one mole of Na, ilang uh, grams meron? Pakicheck natin sa mga students natin. Alam okay. ko mabilis yan. And also sa water, sa one mole ng water, ilan ang mass ni, molar mass ni water? Sige po, Chutrebi. Okay, me. so tignan natin kung may mga answer sila. Chutis, kindly type in the molar mass of H2O and Na. Help us to... Uh, Identify the molar mass of those substances. Ayan, Constantine Del Rosario, molar mass of H2O is 18 grams per mole. Okay, Constantine, i-round off ko na po ah. So we have 18 uh -huh. grams. And uh, sa KNA, hintay natin sila. Uh Oo. -oh. Ayan, si Edward, 18.01 grams of H2O. Ayan, mabilis na rin. So Constantine, 22.98. So pwede na natin siyang i-round off. Okay, Miguel, so just like 23, 23. 23. Okay. Ganun din kay Ken Joshua, kay Rose. Ah, so let us now solve. After nating ma-solve ito, ang nagawa pa lang natin is kinonvert natin yung known masses to moles. So mass to mole. So let us convert 10 divided by 18 and 4.5 divided by 23. What is the answer in here? Habang okay, so, nag-iitay uh, tayo ng sagot, shout out sa kaklase oh, ko ng college, kay Manili Nicomedes, happy birthday. O naalala oh, wow. pa. <laughs> May pag-shout out. <laughs> May pa-fun sign ba yan? Happy birthday. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi, Kaleen. Grade 12 STEM Einstein. Thank you for watching. Si Rose Madonza. Sabi ni Edward Bagay, point fifty five. Okay, 0 0.55 or 56. 0.55 yan, Edward, ba? So, 0.56 mole ni H2O. And in here, we have, sagot nila, ay, may nag-answer na ng Na, 0.20 grams. 0 0.20 so, grams. Okay, can ay, just... Not, gra not grams, but ano? Mole. I mole. Mole of... 
Uh-oh. NA. So, cancel ko na ito. Cancel na ito. Now that we have the mole, we have converted the known masses to moles, we will now choose the smaller value. And in this case, the smaller value is 0.20 moles of NA. So, dun tayo magpo-proceed ng computation and identify natin, yun ang makakatulong sa atin to identify which is the limiting and excess reactant. So, dito tayo sa mababa, 0.20. Okay, so we have the mole of Na and we have the mole of H2O. Okay, let us go back to the balance equation. Babalik tayo sa tamang timpla. So sa timpla ng equation na to, para malaman natin, balikan natin yung balance equation. And the proportion of water to Na ay 2 moles of water and 2 moles of Na. Now, 0.20 times 2 divided by 2. So, suwarehas lang naman kasi times 2 divided by 2. Then, ipoproceed naman natin sa pag-compute naman ng grams. Kasi kailangan natin ng grams of water para makumpara natin dito kay 10 grams. So, sa kada isang mole ni water, nakuha naman na natin to kanina. Sabi sa atin kanina mga chutis natin, may 18 grams of water. Okay. So, we have... 0.20 times 2 divided by 2 times 18. Let us wait for our students to answer and isulat natin dito later. So while waiting, 12 Emerald, Canbarbusuy National High Canbarbusuy National High School, Luna 2 District Division of La Union. Hello po Ma'am Elizabeth. Hello po Eliz Ma'am Elizabeth Lucina Anage. Okay, may sagot na si Miguel Calvo, si uh, Edward, si Ken, si Mark, si Angelica, si, Mark, si Ariana Chapon, Gianna May Chamson. Ang sagot ay? three 3.6 grams of water. So, okay. Uh, by knowing this 3.6 grams, Sabi, ang, ang ibig sabihin nito, si 4.5 grams of Na, mga ngailangan siya ng 3.6 grams of water para maubos siya. Okay, again, para maubos si 4.5 grams of Na to complete the reaction ni Na, kailangan niya ng 3.6 grams of water. But uh, we know that in our data, meron daw tayong 10 grams of water. So, dito pa lang, malalaman na natin na merong sosobrang tubig. So, kung merong sosobrang tubig, there will be an excess reactant for water. So, yan ang ating excess reactant. Si water. Okay? Again, uh, the excess reactant is water. Kung, paano, kung gaano kadami yon, you can subtract this 10 grams to 3.6. That will be the excess reactant. So, dito yung identify lang natin, alin ang limiting, alin ang excess, si water ang ating excess. And ang, uh, again, to identify the excess, you may subtract this 10 grams of water minus 3.6, yun ang ating value ng excess reactant. Now, the one that limits the reaction is of course the limiting, limiting reactant. Okay, our limiting reactant is Na. Si Ayun, NA ang sabi rin ni Edward Bagay, NA po ang limiting reactant. O oh, ba? Uh, very good Edward Bagay, naintindihan mo. And I guess maganda ang foundation ni na Edward Bagay at mga students natin sa chemistry nung sila ay nag-junior high school. Kaya kahit na minsan nakakatakot pakinggan na, oh, limiting and excess reactant, parang ang hirap niyan, mm -hmm. mahabang computation niyan. But, but actually, kapag naintindihan niyo yung process, at saka may mga maraming ways kasi to, eh, to compute this, pag naintindihan niyo kahit paikot-ikuting kayo, you can identify the limiting and excess reactant. Okay. Tutor Abe, makikisoy pabasa na muna ng ating uh, okay. problem number three. So, for our problem number three, aluminum reacts with chlorine gas to form aluminum chloride via the following reaction. So, yung chemical equation natin nasa baba na. So, ang problem natin is determine the limiting reactant between 34.0 grams of aluminum and 39.0 grams of chlorine gas. 
kailang taga lang chutra bay may na, may natuwa ang natuwa ako sa nabasa ko kung pwede lang mailagay po to sa screen sabi po ni Ma'am Elizabeth Lucina Anage thank you po ma'am for having this e to life for Genchem na share ko na po sa mga students ko thank you ma'am thank you po ma'am sa pag-share niyo actually po uh, maganda po tong prog program ng e to life kasi pwede po tong magamit ng mga teachers mai-share po uh, pag nagka-klase kayo pag nag-online conference po kayo or kung kung halimbawa synchronous man just send this to them and they can watch this asynchronously para tayo po ay magtulungan. So, uh, yes, this is an extra effort for all the volunteer tutors pero alam naman natin na sobrang malaking tulong to sa mga students natin especially kapag kailangan na nila ng medyo assistance lalo na pag computation. So, thank mm -hmm. you ma'am for sharing Very this. Very rewarding din yung pakiramdam natin, Tutor Anne, kapag mga students na nagsasagot sa comments, no? Sobrang yes, fulfilling yes. sa pakiramdam. At pag may so, teacher, yes, katulad ni Ma'am Elizabeth, na, na, na teacher na, alam na niya to, pero nakikinig pa rin sa Ma'am. Hello po, Ma'am. Salamat po. Anong school po kayo, Ma'am? Ma'am Ma Elizabeth, sa anong ma school po? Hintayin po namin, Ma'am, ang sagot dito okay. po sa comment section. Ano pong school si Ma'am? Okay, while waiting for Ma'am's ma answer, so sa kanyang school, let us answer this. Aluminum reacts with chlorine gas to form aluminum chloride via the following reaction. So, ayan na. So, isu tuloy lang natin ulit yung kaninang steps natin. So, we have 34 grams of aluminum. Ah, sorry, capital letter A dapat. Okay? And 39 grams of Cl2. Okay. Ne and next is change muna natin daw sa mole. So, gram Cl2 and grams Al. In one mole of Al, we have how many grams of Al? And in one mole of Cl2, chutis, kindly type in po the mass of Al and Cl2. Wait mm -hmm. natin. Okay, so 34 grams, cha-change natin siya sa mole. We need to have the mass of aluminum. Okay, may nag-answer na po ba sa ating comment section? Edward Bagay, shout out! <laughs> Ayan, may sagot na si Miguel. Miguel Calvo, Taniola, the fourth. Aluminum is 27. Okay. And 27. Ko talaga. 27. And 70.9 or gawin na nating 80. Parang so, na-pressure si Edward sa atin. <laughs> Ayan, kanina tu sa tuwa mo kay Miguel, kinumpleto mo na pangalan niya. And also si Angelica. So Kasi ayan, tatandaan ko na sila Tutor Ann, sukihin natin sila eh. Yes. So 34 times 1 divided by 27. Ano po ang ating answer para sa mole ni aluminum? <laughs> Oh, wait lang, parang may some, may mali pala dito sa ano, mali, hindi po pala 80 to, mali ang sulat ko. 70. Oy. <laughs> ano ba? Chlorine. Chlorine. Dalawang chlorine, so 70. Ayan. Kinilear ko lang. 70 or pwede to 71 kasi 35.45. Chitra Abay. So ilagay natin 71 kasi ang kanilang answer is 70.9. So is 71 na natin. Okay, so 39 times 1 divided by 71, ano po ang answer? Tutor Abe, papress nga po sa kalpa. 39 okay. divided by 71. So ang sabi nila, Angelica... Point 26 mole of aluminum, according to Angelica, Mark Benjo. 1.26 mole. Mole of aluminum. Aluminum. How about dito sa 39, kinanong naman sa mole ng CL2? According to Iverson, 0 0.55 mole chlorine. Yes. 0 0.56. Sa kanila. Okay. 55 or 56, pakicheck naman po kung, kung ano. Mga shadow time particular, di ba? <laughs> now we will decide kung alin sa kanila. So, again, choose the smaller value, but the, uh, this does not mean na ito na po ang inyong limiting. Hindi porkit mababa ang number niya, siya na ang limiting natin. No, pero siya ang magiging basis natin kung saan tayo magpo-proceed ng computation. So, we have... Ay, nag-proceed na ako, di ba? <laughs> Kasi siya na yun. Pero parang feeling ko alam nila... Yung 0.56 okay. mo lang gagamitin. Yes. Uh, 0. Or 0.56. Okay. Sabi dito 0. 0.56. Okay. So magpaproceed tayo dun sa smaller value, 0. 0.56. Mole of Cl2. 
and it will proceed natin naman siya converting that to the mole of the aluminum. So again, we will go back to our balance equation. So what is the ratio of aluminum and chlorine gas? Okay, what is the ratio of aluminum and chlorine gas? I'm waiting on, again sa answer sa mga chutis natin. Kasi nakakatawa pag sa kanila nang gagaling yung sagot. Oo nga eh. Okay. What is the ratio of aluminum and Cl2? Sure, Anne. Okay lang ba dun sa may 71 grams of chlorine? Pwedeng 70 or 72, no? Kasi kung 35.45, uh, so Kung, kung 35.45 po dito... Uh, magiging ano siya, di ba? 70.9. Pag 70.9, pwede na natin gawing 71. So, ang ratio, sabi ni Crystal, ni Alex, ay son, ay 2 is to 3. So, ang ratio is 2 is to 3, 2 moles of aluminum and 3 moles of Cl2. Next step is, Kukunin naman natin ngayon dahil ang magiging fine, ang answer na dito ay mole ni aluminum. Ang kailangan natin ay mass ni aluminum. So ang mass ni aluminum, kung para magkuha natin ang, ang mass, in 1 mole of aluminum, we have the grams of aluminum in here. So nakuha natin kanina ang mass ni aluminum which is 27. Okay students, you may type in this sa inyong mga calculator and tell us ano po ang answer na nakuha nyo. Ayan, feeling ko na uh, sasolve na sila. Wait lang natin ang konti. Okay, dahil nagsasolve pa sila, again, shout out kay Manila Nicomedes, happy birthday. <laughs> Ulit -ulit. <laughs> Ay, parang birthday ni ano, Dr. Ray yesterday. Happy birthday, Baba. Dr. Ray. <laughs> Ayan. So 10.08 grams of aluminum po according to Edward. Kay Miguel Tanyola rin. Kay Ken Joshua 9.9 .9 grams of aluminum. Angelica okay, 10.08 grams of aluminum. Sulat ko na dyan. Okay. Same with Diana, Alex. Si Mark Benjo, Christel, ayan, si Stella, Stella. mahabol pa sila ng answers. Kasi sobrang nakakaano, no? nakakatawa pag nakakasolve talaga ng problems. Okay, Chuter Bay, Ngay this time sa kanila natin tanungin, alin ang oh, ating oh. limiting reactant at ang ating excess reactant? Sulat ko lang dito. Kindly type in there sa comment section, limiting o kaya LR na lang, alin ang LR? Si AL ba or si CL2? Limiting reactant. Again, chutis doon lang kayo mamimili sa dalawang reactan sa ating equation. It's either aluminum or chlorine gas lang siya. Kasi ang, ta ang, ta ang label nga is reactant. Limiting reactant and excess reactant. Sabi According ni Edward, Edward Bagay. Bagay. Sige. <laughs> aluminum po limiting reactant. Tignan natin. Okay, no? tignan natin. Hintay, pata hintay tayo. So, tignan natin Edward kung tama ang sagot. Uh, 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 sabi na... Ay, ay, dalawa ang sagot oh, ni Edward. Dalawa na sagot niya. Nagbago isip siya. <laughs> Ayan. Si Ken Joshua Haiktin. Uh, uh, limiting reactant CL2. Excess reactant aluminum. Miguel Calvo Tanyola. Same answer with Ken. Aluminum po ang excess. Excess. Edward. Ano minamang excess? <laughs> <laughs> Naman ni Bali na siya na type <laughs> Okay, Stella Iverson Aliana So nag-answer na sila I And kindly check Kindly check Let if it. your answers, answers are correct So ang ating excess reactant So dito, si 39 grams of chlorine Mga ngailangan siya ng 10.08 grams of aluminum Para maubos siya Ibig sabihin, si 39, mauubos na siya with the 10.08 grams of aluminum. But the total, the amount of aluminum that we have is 34 grams of aluminum. So, so, sobra sa atin ay si aluminum. 10.08 lang ang kailangan para maubos si 39 grams of chlorine. So, ang ating excess ay si aluminum. At ang ating limiting reactant, kasi siya nga yung unang mauubos, the one that will limit the, pro the reaction, is the chlorine gas. Okay, the chlorine gas or chlorine. 
So ayan po ang ating pag-a-analyze. After nating mag-mass to mass, i-analyze natin dun sa given. Again, si 39 grams, para maubos siya, kailangan niya lang ng 10.08. Ang, ang meron tayo na aluminum ay 34. 34. So sobra-sobra si aluminum. If you are asked to how much would be the excess, all you have to do is to just subtract 34 grams of aluminum minus 10.08 grams of aluminum. That will be the excess reactant. Okay, kasi may follow-up question dito, Tutor Abe. How much mm -hmm. would be the excess reactant? So you may you may just subtract this. 34 minus 10.08. Sige nga po, for the last question, for last question in this problem. 34, ay ne, how much would be the excess reactant? Lagyan natin dito, how much is the excess? Sulat natin, tingnan natin. Alam ko, parang fili ko si Edward Bagay, mind reader. <laughs> may sagot na siya agad. <laughs> okay. Alam niya, tatanong ko. <laughs> Oo, alam okay. niya, itatanong natin. Na-double check mo, Tutor Abe, sa 34 minus 10. So, ayan, 20. Ang sabi niya, exact 23.892 ang sagot nila. So, ayan. Okay, pero double check natin. Ayan, 23.92 nga. Okay grams of aluminum this will be the excess reactant okay so uh, sana po ay nakatulong muli <laughs> nagmuli na kagad sana po <laughs> nakatulong kami sa inyong uh, pag-aaral ngayong linggo na ito so uh, hindi naman natin matatake lahat pero ito yung lesson na alam namin na mga kailangan kayo ng assistance so para kahit si teacher uh, May share sana po ito ng mga teachers nyo para kahit asynchronously ay mapanood nyo ito. Baka mamaya ay may pang data kayo para may extra data kayo para makapag-nood sa Facebook. So sana piliin yung manood ng mga free tutorials kasi ginagawa ito ng mga volunteer tutors para sa inyo. So ayan, maraming salamat po. Ayan, si Najana Christine Bayanin. Uh, salamat po sa inyong pag-attend ah. Sina Mark Benjo, Stella Iverson Shout out kay Edward Kung gusto mo Edward at sa iba pang students Kung papayag lang inyong mga parents Invite namin kayo dito next ah, week Para naman, mm -hmm. pwede naman yon. Kaya lang depende sa kanila Siyempre kasi uh, ma ma na National on screen sila So kung papayag ang inyong mga parents Siyempre Sabi ni Constantine Del Rosario, paki-highlight po ito sa stream yard. <laughs> appreciate you po. Thank you Tutor Anne, Tutor Abe for making time to teach us general chemistry. Thank you then Constantine sa pag-appreciate. Pa-like na lang po and subscribe charot. Pa-like po, pa-send na lang ng like sa ating comment section. Kung naiintindihan niyo po ang ating lesson ngayong hapon. Totoo at Tutor Abe? <laughs> Oo nga, natatawa kasi ako. Sa ano, sa mga si uh, video appreciation ba ng nararamdaman nila sa atin. At the same time, nakakakilig din, no, kapag may mga students talaga na minimension din tayo yung effort natin. Thank you so much. Actually, nagpapasalamat din tayo sa kanila, no. Actually, malapit na tayo matapos sa first quarter, tutor, oh. ano. Thank you sa pag-attend nyo kasi kung wala, kung wala kayong, kung hindi kayo attend, walang sasagot sa mga tanong namin. Maraming <laughs> pong salamat. <laughs> okay. So, so salamat, sorry. students. Um, for week six po, tutor, abe. Okay, so we will be discussing ito, one of the favorite topics natin to, eh, no? So it's all about gas law. So we will be discussing Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay Lussac's law. Still so computation, pero minimal na siya. Oh, kailangan ng calculator. calculator. And I'm sure, derivation naman ng formula ang uh, mm -hmm. kailangan ng matunan nila dito. So marunong dapat mag-derive. So Fritz Casas, thank you, din. Okay. And hindi lang po General Chemistry 1 ang ino-offer ng uh, itulay. Meron din po tayong All is Wellness, Coding and Robotics, Safety and First Aid, Earth and Life Science, General Chemistry 1, General Biology 1, and Mami Tech Talks. Uh, ito po yung mga volunteer tutors natin for senior high school subjects uh, every Monday. So mara every day po meron po tayong free online tutorial. Dr. Bay? Yes, so after ng segment namin, pwede nyo i-visit naman uh, yung General Biology 1 kasama si Tutor Wendy and Tutor Eric. Okay, for our uh, feedback form, so kindly have the link or the QR code para naman masabi ninyo yung uh, mga messages ninyo sa amin or kung meron kayong mga suggestions para mas mapaganda pa yung flow ng ating uh, interaction dito. 
please take time. Lahat po ng students kayo, please take time to scan this QR code para po magbigay naman po ng feedback form para ma mabigyan nyo kami ng messages kung kayo naman po ay natuwa or hindi natuwa, pwede pa rin naman po yung ilagay yan po sa ating feedback form. Marami pong salamat. Okay. So, ah, uh... Okay na, Chutor Arano. So muli, I am Chutor Abey from SDO Paranaque. Sama-sama uh, natin itulay ang pagkatuto. Sama-sama natin itulay ang bayanihan para sa mga batang Pilipino. God bless everyone. See you next week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!